So as we head back to the main area, I think it's worth doing a quick recap on the story so far in Mass Effect, just for people who like to, you know, come in. Maybe you're new to the channel or the series or whatever. Just a quick recap. Also, it's nice for us <laughs> going through the series because it does help uh, contextualize everything that's about to happen. So we started off on Eden Prime as Captain, uh, well, we're not Commander yet at that point, so I think we were Captain Shepard, and then we became Commander Shepard after being on Eden Prime, discovering a beacon that gave us all sorts of uh, crazy visions of things called Reapers, who wiped out all life in the galaxy um, thousands of years ago. And, or maybe it's millions, I don't know what they what they consider the, the time frame on that. Uh, and then we went back to the Citadel, which is like uh, the, the Space Council, <laughs> and told them all about a, a Spectre, which is like their main police force. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Do we need to help them? What was that all about? I think we're gonna have to help them. This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop! Stop the rover. Okay, we'll go. We'll go chat with them. So yeah, we found, um, we found that one of their police forces called a Spectre. His name is uh, Saren, was being a big baddie, and is the reason for the attack on the colony that we went to to begin the game with. So that's how that works. And then uh, we got turned into a specter because they're like, well, yeah, only specters can fight specters, right? Um, then we went to a, a different planet in which we learned of his compatriot called Matriarch, Matriarch rather, uh, Benezia, was doing some bad things. So we stopped her. And now we came to this planet to figure out why the guests are attacking this planet. So like the guests are kind of their robotic uh, minions that they're using at the moment to do their bidding. And now we're trying to figure out what's going on here, but it has turned us to, oh gosh, what is the name of the thing again? Let's go to the journal, the, the, the Thorian, which apparently is like mind controlling people to do bad things. Not good. Also, this is probably a bad situation if they all have guns. You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. What do you think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. <laughs> it's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Oh, it, it sucks that I don't have the required points to be able to do this. I hate that I've gotten so many Paragon points when I'm trying to go Renegade. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Oh, wow, that, that just happened. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. 
The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Uh, equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. Oh, heck yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, wow, we got a bunch of loot from that, didn't we? Okay, so grenades, 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 grenades. Okay. Um, we can do it with the anti-thorian gas. Bam. I totally forgot that we could upgrade our grenades. Not that we've really been using them, but it's good to know. And none of these should be better than what we got. All right, cool. Good luck. Well, that, uh, that, well, that went better than I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping that we didn't have to kill everybody, but just the one guy is fine. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Hmm. By the way, if, uh, if you are new to the series, you're just jumping in here and this, this happens to be your jumping point. One, you are missing a quite a bit. I do suggest going back and watch the other episodes. Two, I'm playing as Paragon or Renegade, not Paragon. So I'm kind of, um, a bit meaner. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. I just, uh, I've, anytime I've ever played Mass Effect, I've always been kind of more on the Paragon side where I just, you, you do the good things. You, the good soldier, blah, 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 blah. But I've never done Renegade, and because I've played this game so many times, I feel like that, that'll that be a good way to keep this fresh as we go. And I did a poll, and the vast majority of people also have the same issue. They all play Paragon, and they just can't seem to, to do anything but it. So, Renegade is how we're doing this. Also, we just leveled up. Heck yeah. I got points to spend. Uh, let's do that first. So, squad, I have eight points. So I've leveled up twice and just haven't, haven't spent points. So let's go, uh, I think I'm going to go full specter training, as I mentioned before, to get those extra, um, the, uh, the health and, and damage and accuracy and everything. And then from there, I mean, what do we do? Assault training? No, not really. I mean, adrenaline burst is pretty good. This changes it from, what, uh, 120 seconds to 90 seconds. Actually, that's not bad. And then the master is 45 seconds. That's not bad either. I think, I think I'm going to uh, upgrade barrier, though. That, that seems to be a, a thing that we're using a lot. Uh, let's do the same thing for, for Rex here. Let's unlock more barrier stuff. Because he's, he's going to be getting knocked down if we don't do that. Uh, da, 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 da. we upgrade it. We unlocked electronics. I'm going to go ahead and put points into electronics for Garrus. All right. Looking good. We're getting quick save. So yeah, we got to go find the story and and figure out what the heck's going on. And in the process, not kill any colonists if we can. It's actually, you know what? I haven't looked around yet on this planet. It's very pretty the way that they've redone it. It's less grim, dark, gray crappiness it's <laughs> more lens flare more more mass effect 2 mass effect 3 lens flare what the heck is that is that a zombie no it is a creeper oh no why did it switch weapons on me no 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 go back to the shotgun i would have one shot him what was that creature it certainly wasn't human no hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's go. I See, that's the thing is I could just wipe everything out, but that doesn't seem very uh, good. Okay. We've got people up there shooting at us. The creepers are pretty easy to deal with, I think, because of our shotgun. So I'm not too concerned about them necessarily. I just want to make sure that all of the colonists are fine. So where, yeah, we're being shot at from over there. All right, let's run up there. Toss in a grenade. Why is it not 
That was really weird. Why is it not grenading? There it goes. That was weird. I hit G so many times. I don't know what's up with this game. Uh, I got two of them. This guy was too close. Incoming. Okay, I have five grenades remaining. I gotta be careful about that. We got, got barrier separate. and stuff, right? We can absorb damage. Oh, it was a loading screen. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, it wants us to go this way, it looks like. We got more creepers. Correct. You know, this is kind of making me, um, in a weird way, quite excited for... Oh, no. We want to save them. Oh, gee, thank you. Uh, good. It makes me excited for <laughs> Rainbow Six Quarantine. I don't know why. I just I just like games like that. Left 4 Dead style. Also, Back for Blood is another game coming out that's kind of all like that. Gotta love it. Can I take these guys out? So then I can pop. No, no, no. Fort. Get my shield back. Okay, we'll we'll throw a grenade there. We've got to move one of those cargo blocks. We'll throw one there. That should do it. I I gotta get more grenades. I only have two left. Uh, let's get this. Yeah, there's there's a colonist there. Hmm, I don't like this. I gotta throw this in such a way that gets them both. Did it? I think it did. Oh, beautiful. Okay, good. Uh, that's closed. I can't get into there. I have one grenade remaining. Pfft, gotta make it count. Let's, uh, let's take out the creepers here. Funnel them in to the hot gates. Is that one there? Yeah. Oh, man, they're all coming at us, aren't they? Uh, I don't have throw up. <laughs> not like, not like, like throw up. No, not like that. No, like I don't. I don't have the ability throw available. There's a crank. You make sense of control. Weird. Ah, okay. oh, crap. Oh, no, I have grenades now. Okay, cool. Did I get them? There it goes. That was really weird. I hit the button again. Oh, <laughs> he got stuck in the wall. Uh, let's get her. Cool. That all works. Hey, we still get XP for that. That's nice. Controls are too complex and delicate to operate while in combat. Area secure. Ain't that the truth. Where are these colonists? Okay, this is all blocked off. So am I still in combat? Where's... Where, where's the last guys? Can I, can I holster my weapon? Are we good? There we go. Tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Oh. Well, I didn't have to do it. Okay. Uh, 16 colonists still alive. Uh, oh, this this is saying there's a marker there, but I think what it means is it wants me to go down. Oh, you know what we should do? We should check over here. Is there any loot in between? No. Oh, no. I broke the game. <laughs> let's, uh, let's ignore that and go downstairs. <laughs> that, got, that got weird, weird and glitchy. Oh, that was really weird. Hey, we got 32 Paragon points. Dang it. <laughs> this is what happens when you... Jesus, sucks. This is what happens when you when you are too good. I should have just killed all those people. Come on. Renegade. The problem is, like, I, I want to be kind of mean, but I don't want to be a murderer. So maybe, maybe the game 
should do a better job of uh, allowing me to have my own play style. Just right, saying. I just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... This was not covered by my training manuals. Nothing's ever simple, is it? That's creepy. Oh, it's barfing. It, it barfed out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood okay, will well, feed the ground in the new growth. She, she chose what she wanted. Or it chose, technically. Oh, no, I switched weapons. Accidentally again. Let's go back to our shotgun. I shouldn't have to worry too much about my shield at the moment. It's going to regen. The, the creepers, I feel like... Um, There's some kind of growth here that's definitely different. I feel like the 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 creepers were definitely in previous versions of me playing a little bit more creepy and difficult to deal with. But now that I'm playing a vanguard and I got the shotgun, I'll tell you what, I don't care. <laughs> the shotgun is way better at killing these things. Oh, you, you angry, buddy? That hurt it. I can tell. A few more of those and it's in trouble. Yeah, I agree. How many shots is it going to take to take out? I'm assuming it's dead. Okay, we're going to assume it's dead. Or that it's not spawned because it needs to do this again. It needs to keep puking out Asari. How many Asari you got in there? <laughs> this baby fits so many Asari. Do I, wait, do I have to go back down? Where's... I'm going to get assaulted from behind after this. Sorry. Attacks me. Oop. Let's use this. Let's use this. Uh, let's barrier. Because they do puke and do some AoE damage. The sorry is still alive. There we go. Okay, we good? We kill everything? So far, so good. Weapon locker, oh yeah. Let's decrypt that, maybe I'll get a new shotgun. Though I fully anticipate whatever I get, not using it for very long after I buy that new one. Uh, no, just an assault rifle. I don't care about any of that, to be honest. These guys are gonna pop up, yep. Oh, man. They, they do like to, to pop. <laughs> It's like walking zits with like creepy uh, oh, uh, Edward Scissorhand hand, hands, fingers. I'm a little busy here. Oh, yeah, we gotta destroy this. Correct. Look at that. It's got a weird eyeball. Man, these things are creepy sounding. Oh, and another Asari. How many? How many do you got? I don't understand. Why are you pooping out a sorry? Shields down. Okay, thank you, Shepard, for letting me know. So I can regenerate my shields. That's a convenient little ability. I don't feel like I really need to use cover playing as a vanguard. Not that you do much in the other games either. You do when you're in trouble or you really need to kind of get things from a distance, but 
in general. It's a lot of uh, biotic charging around. I can't wait for that. It's so much fun. I don't know if any of you watched the Mass Effect Andromeda series that we did, but playing the Vanguard in that was so much fun. It was just like, eventually I just had a, a build where I was a, uh, a walking god. You just like are constantly biotic charging into places and getting a bunch of shields and stuff. It was cool. It was really cool. Okay, are we good? No, there's more coming. Another Asari. Is that four now? The Thorian has at least four Asari poops in. They're also like all the same looking, but I guess they're commandos. So that would have been given to the Thorian from Saren. Right? As like a payment. Uh, begin override. That one was super easy. Light armor for Corian, medium armor for Turian. Actually, you know what? Uh, if we go to uh, Garrus, I was going to say Rex, but no, we didn't get it from him. So he's got some new armor. Oh, yay. Now we're matchy matchy. <laughs> we're both pink. <laughs> okay. Uh, none of these are better for me. I'm not going to worry about the rest of it until after. Okay. More of you guys. Did that guy die? He did. What throw still is not up? All right, let's use Carnage. Can I not walk past his body? Odd. All, okay, cool. Oh, now they pop up. That's annoying. Okay, then we kill this. Bam. Wait for my... What was that? Jeez, that was creepy and loud. Just in one ear, too. Are they coming in from, no, they're okay, they're upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Hello, yeah, we got him here. Let's use throw on that guy. <laughs> Just throw him off the edge. Leveled up there, kinda nice. We're leveling up really quick. I hope that guy died by falling. Pretty sure he did. The thing has to drop soon. A few more. Yeah, I agree. Do we go down this way though? It looks like it. I don't like that these guys are just sitting here. That's not fun. Um, oh, then we go up. I see, I see, I see. Hello, creeper. Hello, sir. Oh, you too. Okay, that's fine. Cool, this is all working. Oh, the, uh, sorry. I was wondering who that was. <laughs> it kind of looked like um, like Garrus was running around, and I was like, "Wow, Garrus looks really feminine." Shield disabled. Oh, no, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit four. Get my shield back. Get my barrier up so that way I can face tank these guys if I need to. Uh, goodness, there's so many of these guys. All right, we're good. There's two left on our map. Is that a way up? No. It's so dark, I can't tell. Oh, that was weird. The little targeting thing was in the wall. It might actually be an enemy in the wall. Cool. Now. Oh, man, there's so many of these guys. Okay, I'm just gonna toss this. Well, actually, uh, what I should do is go here. Because I'm not having to worry about these guys anymore, right? So let's change this out to incendiary. Sure, that sounds fun. Let's just toss one of these in there. Get an incendiary grenade. Actually, let's get a couple of them. Oh, the, I think the Asari uh, was able to absorb the burn part of because she had a barrier. I think that's how that works. If I recall correctly. I'm stuck on the corpses of my fallen enemies. That guy. Let's blow that up. Alright, there we go.
<laughs> I have one more to poop out. This one is blue. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. <laughs> Serves you right. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. It's creepy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. This is all very weird. <laughs> And then the galaxy universe. What does it even mean? Why is she scowling at me? What did I do? I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I, th I think I saw the video from The Ring <laughs> played out before me or something like that. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. 
It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Um. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. <laughs> and now it's I'm dead. grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Hmm. What should I do with you? I think that's a question. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. I mean, I don't... Here's the thing. Like, I do want to play Renegade, but I don't feel like this person needs to die. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it would have made sense. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Medal Thank you, of Commander. Heroism. Um, can we talk to her? I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Thank you. Okay. Can I talk to other people? These are just refugees. Uh, there's the vendor. Thanks again. Oh, that the data, data guy. Very valuable once I get out of here. Right, okay. I guess it makes sense to have him there because that way you're able to turn that quest in when you wouldn't otherwise. Uh, let's vendor some stuff. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future and I may even have more to see. Hmm. I didn't know that that could be a thing. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything that I want, but that doesn't mean that we're not just going to sell all the junk. And um, let's actually just go ahead and... I'm just going to sell all of this. The thing is, I could upgrade the weapons. And I, in some cases, I probably should. But for a lot of this, it just kind of feels a little too much. There's too much going on here. We got too much crap. <laughs> I just need to give my companions a basic amount of stuff and we'll be fine. Because at this point, once I get that shotgun, everything is going to be ridiculous. Also, oh my goodness, we have so many things to sell. I'm not going to sell the Corian armor. 
Um, we'll sell the pistols. Go, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the Ar Omni tool. And all the weapons and the grenades, explosive things. Yeah, every everything else is gone. I feel good about that. Okay. I did uh, already give Garrus his armor, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before I forget. Uh, I don't want to talk to this guy. He's probably just going to thank me. I wanted to talk to these people. How are they doing? I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Okay, so they were they were under control, which is why she was feeling sick. Free. I can't believe I'm free. Cool. So I helped all them. That works out. Nice. I need to level up still, so let's do that real quick. Uh, do, 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 squad, I have four points. We're going to go full into barrier for this one. Um, get as much extra stuff from barrier that I can. Same thing for Rex. We'll give him the two points there. Garrus will go more into electronics. Cool. Um, where am I at? Pff, my renegade score. Like I am half filled on Paragon, but my Renegade is like, it's like not even working for me. I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest, but it's just, yeah, I, I don't think um, I'm going to be able to make it to full Renegade in this playthrough. And that's the thing. It's like you could split it, which is what I'm doing technically, not, not purposefully, but it is being split. Unfortunately, you do miss out on some of those cool like Renegade or Paragon only options and towards the end of these games you always get stuff that is more leaning towards one or the other and if you want a specific option you really do have to make sure you have enough points for that so at one point we're just gonna have to just kind of just give up and be like okay we're, we're gonna do mean things for a while just so we have enough renegade points to get the option that we have and that's not necessarily fun i want to play the character that i want to play but uh, the Mass Effect games were a little more black and white than some of the later Bioware games. Like, I think... Stand by shore party. I think Dragon Age Inquisition was progress. pretty good. Commander. In that regard. Pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda was also pretty good with it, but the, it, it less so than Andromeda, or less so than Inquisition, in my opinion. I feel strange. I'm fine. I was just brain probed. No, I'm fine. I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. What? <laughs> Very eager. Also, her eyes went all white and it was really creepy. <laughs> Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Why, why do you guys keep doing this to me? Now we have to watch it again. It's very creepy. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... Intense. That's what she said. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, <laughs> I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. 
I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? I guess. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. They might be more happy Commander. with this. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Wow, actually, I didn't consider the political ramifications of that until now. Um, that's not going to look good on the news reports when we get back to the Citadel. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I help everyone, not at any lengths. It's true. Not any lengths. I considered shooting them all. I never jeopardized the mission. That's good, Commander. Stopping Saren is your primary goal. Everything else is secondary. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Hmm. Well, that's uh different. So what's what's our next step here? Um, let's figure that out before we do anything else. Go to our journal. So uh, Vermeyer. So the Salarian Reconnaissance team on Vermeyer has information about Saren. The message was unclear and the council fears the team is in danger. That's our next big thing is heading to Vermeyer. Um, once we do that, we honestly don't have much more of Mass Effect 1 to go. I know that's kind of weird to say because we're like 10 episodes into the series, but we are doing one hour long episodes. But even then, like Mass Effect 1 is not the longest of the games by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Mass Effect 2 is going to be a huge time investment for us, though. So when it comes down to it, um, pretty, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, we have all this side stuff that I want to do, but at this point, um, I'm just doing some of the, the main stuff. So, because we can, like, knock out all the side stuff in a single episode. So I think we're going to head to Vermeer next. But before I do anything else, before I do anything else, I got to open this up. I got to run down here and I got to do the most important thing that we have before we do anything else. I need to know, not talk to Tally. Don't, don't care. I could talk to all of them and probably get some interesting information. No, I need to come over Looking here. Looking for supplies? Buy a shotgun. <laughs> yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I have more than enough money at this point. Uh, we want to compare these. So this one is 320. Uh, this one is 200. We're looking for shotguns, right? That one's not as good. Okay, so we know for sure that this thing is insane. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and buy or uh, accept that. There we go. So that's ours now. Do I need anything else? Let's compare armor. I mean, that's that's pretty good. And we're, we know we're not getting heavy armor. So, actually, I think that that's not a bad idea. Um, let's go ahead and buy that. And we have plenty of money left if I need it, but at this point I don't. So, we're going to upgrade our armor. Uh, we're, oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, that's right. We don't have any mods. So, we have the stim pack there, but that's fine. I'm not concerned about the mods. We get so many of them. Uh, yeah, we'll swap that over. And we have an extra weapon mod, too. We are in like end game gear already. <laughs> Feels uh, pretty nice. Mm -hmm.